have discussed about the pharmacological rules of the pharmacological rules of the hormone progesterone. We have discussed, we have previously discussed about two hormones, that is estrogen and progesterone. We have discussed uh, uh, discussed the uh, pharmacological role of progesterone. Now we will discuss about the hormonal contraceptives. We are discussing this chapter because uh, the population is in a great burden. We know that uh, in today's population there is an over uh, overflow of population is there. So uh, there is a need. There is a need to uh, control the population and uh, hormonal contraceptives play a crucial role in uh, controlling the so, uh, population stress actually. So, in 1955, successful oral progestins was first uh, discovered, and that uh, was uh, the progestin, that is, orally acceptable progestin compounds are developed. And uh, there are two classes of, uh, they are generally, uh, oral contraceptives are generally uh, taken in uh, comparison to some implantables, like we have studied in uh, our previous. Uh, knowledge that we have uh, that some of the uh, implantables that can be incorporated but here we have uh, the oral contraceptive pills actually so there are different types there are different types such as combined pills phase pills then mini pills and post coital or emergency pills contraceptive pills the general side effect associated with the uh, hormonal contraceptives are nausea vomiting is very common among all the drugs it happens nausea vomiting Apart from that, we have breastfulness, amalgia. Amalgia is a breast pain that is very, uh, very much associated with these uh, uh, hormonal contraceptives. Uh, then we have pelvic pain, then uh, fluid retention and weight gain. So all these side effects um, are generally uh, associated with the use of continuous use of hormonal contraceptives. So as much as possible, we should do, we should reduce taking that. Uh, contraceptive pills, but still, you know, it is very much uh, uh, used nowadays to control population. So, in case of oral contraceptive pills, we have combined pills. Combined pills, first, it was uh, described that progesterone was uh, enough for controlling the uh, the controlling the dominance of pregnancy. But it was later discovered that estrogen can act synergistically with the uh, the progesterone uh, or the progesterone to act as a combined pill. So combined pill consists of both progesterone and both progesterone and estrogen. So it is known as combined pills. In case of phase regimens, it is usually uh, recommended for the for the woman who, who, who have uh, 35 years of age and above due, uh, due to due, uh, severe complications at that age of hers. And we know that there are uh, different uh, negative effects or side effects associated with the prolonged estrogen administration. So, phase regimen is generally recommended for women over above 35 years age. Above 35 years age. Due to complications due to very complications associated with estrogen. And also we have only progesterone only minerals which are generally preferred. Uh, the progesterone is generally administered in a very low dose. So uh, minerals is there. Then we have post post quarter emergency contraceptive are generally very much popular in the industry because of the, you know, uh, for the forensic examinations which are in the case of, uh, in the case of emergency contraceptives, it acts. So generally, uh, there are some of the methods used are the use pay method. Use pay method is very common. And in use pay method, we have to administer levonorgestrel along with the uh, ethinyl diastrel. Okay, so if you have a to what are the concentrations that is necessary are that level of level of level of non-distant. We have to give it 0.5 mg, 0.5 mg 
Thus we have to administer ethinyl escaldal. Ethinyl escaldal. That means we have to administer ENG. And that is equivalent to two overall tablets. Two overall tablets. These are these should should be taken within the 72 hours of after the post postpartum and it should be repeated after 12 hours. Okay. So this is a very important postpartum. Generally, it is known as use pay method. Okay. Then we have uh, all the side effects associated with this. So we have many side effects that are associated with this. We have a specific chart of the drugs that should be administered in India. The first. Uh, 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 hormonal contraceptives was Maladi. We will study it in, a, in the form of a chart. Here. Now we have to discuss the many different types of oral contraceptive pills. Here we, uh, we have charted out, we have actually charted out the different drugs, its traits name, its uh, dose of estrogen and progesterone. Here. So, uh, first is the Maladi. As we know that it is 21 tablets uh, along with 7 famous surfaces that tablets that we need, that needs to be taken for a month period. And uh, the concentration of non-gestrel is 0.3 mg and it's an estragal is 30 microgram. So here you see that like overall G, overall A, uh, Norvelon and Femingon, all these types of are, uh, of contraceptives are fall under the Combined pills, and here we say that in successive different uh, phases of the pills, such as phase pills, postpartum pills, and mini pills, we are seeing that slowly the progestation, the progestin concentration is going down. It is uh, uh, we are giving it in a microgram, microgram uh, concentration. Why we are giving in a microgram uh, concentration? Because as you know that these are of hormone, basically they are hormones. So. Hormonal imbalance. To reduce hormonal imbalance, we are generally reducing the dose in uh, all these uh, successive uh, pills. We, uh, we have a. So, all these are, are of hormonal derivatives. We know that uh, levonorgestrel and ethanol estradiol, these are actually ethanol estradiol, especially it is a synthetic compound and it mimics the, just like as of uh, estrogen, but still it's. Uh, interrupt with the hormonal system of our body. So, to prevent a hormonal imbalance, we are just successively, successively reducing the dose of the estrogen and uh, that is the, the progestin and the posterior estrogen derivatives. So, here in case of postpartum pills, we have overall duo neutron and we have normal uh, and ECEV, uh, ECEV2, which is 1 plus 1 tablet. And in case of mini pills, we have non epitrope that is 0 0.35 mg. So, we are seeing that all these contraceptive pills, uh, we should avoid just taking all these things as much as possible because they will somehow interfere with the, um, our natural body uh, hormonal system and uh, they have all you know, such um, of very side effects. They have uh, side, side effects associated with them, such as the abdominal pain, and nostalgia, and all those things. So, um, as much as possible, we should uh, take these pills in an emergency condition, and we should not uh, just interfere with the hormonal system. But uh, in the case uh, to control the population, many of these today's uh, generations are using most of the. Uh, uh, that pills and obviously contraceptive pills. So, so we have com completed our uh, the, the basic chapters on estrogen and progesterone. We have also completed the uh, the hormonal contraceptive. In the next video, we will discuss about the immunosuppressant drugs. We have uh, defined classification of immunosuppressant drugs. So, we will study it in more detail. Thank you.